Hey, what's up everybody? Ben here from blogwithben.com and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to remove or replace the footer credits of any WordPress theme. First, we'll use a simple plugin called the Visual Footer Credit Remover. This is great for those of you who want a quick and easy solution without messing with any code. But for those where a plugin just doesn't cut it, don't worry, I've got you covered. We'll dive into some basic CSS to manually remove the footer credits. And don't be intimidated if you're new to CSS. I'll guide you through the process each step of the way, making it super easy to follow. And real quick, before we dive in, if you get any value out of this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the Blog with Ben YouTube channel. Helps me bring you more resources and it keeps you up to date with all of the WordPress and tech trends happening throughout the year. But either way, thank you so much for all your support. All right, with that being said, let's get started. So first, let's go over how to remove and edit the footer credits with the plugin. And as I mentioned in the intro, the plugin we'll be using for this video is the Visual Footer Credit Remover. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and install and activate the plugin. I've linked to it in the video description below, but you can also install it through your dashboard, which is what we'll do right now. So on the left-hand menu, hover your mouse over Plugins and click on Add New. From here in the upper right corner of the screen, you'll see a search bar. In the field, type the words Visual Credit. The plugin should be the first one listed there. I've already installed and activated it, but all you do is click the install button and then click the activate button, and then that will allow you to access the plugin and use the features, and you can follow along through the rest of the tutorial. Okay, so before we use the plugin, I wanna quickly show you what we'll be updating. So let me visit the homepage really quick by hovering my mouse over the site title in the upper left corner of the screen and clicking on visit site. Then let's scroll down to the footer credits. And as you can see with this theme, they list out the copyright info followed by the theme and WordPress credits. I don't want this to display. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight and copy the copyright text. I'm on a Mac, so I'm pressing Command C on my keyboard to copy it. And this copyright text is what I'm gonna use as the replacement text within the plugin. Now, you don't have to do exactly like I do in this video, but I wanna keep this part of the footer credits intact. So that's how I'm gonna do it in this example. Okay, so in order to access the Visual Footer Credit Remover plugin, head back to the WordPress dashboard by hovering your mouse over the site title in the upper left corner of the screen and clicking on Dashboard. Then within the left-hand sidebar menu, hover your mouse over Tools and click on Visual Footer Credit Remover. And this will open up the plugin and take you to the homepage. Okay, the plugin's interface is pretty intuitive, but let me give you a quick rundown on how everything works. So on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see the plugins configuration settings. It's almost like the old school WordPress classic editor where you have a text box for your text, along with some editing options where you can add hyperlinks, change the font color, etc. And then below that, they have some additional options in terms of how you select and manipulate the footer credits. For this example, we're leaving all of the default settings in place and just editing the text. But feel free to play around with these settings to see what works best for you. Then as we scroll down, you'll get to see the selector tool in action. So basically wherever you hover your mouse is what you can edit. You can tell by the box around the sections of content. Anything with the box around it, you can use the plugin to edit, just like a visual editor, hence the plugin's name. So with that being said, let's use the plugin to edit the footer credits. And as I said in the intro, I'm gonna remove the theme and WordPress credits and replace them with the copyright text that I copied a little earlier. And as you can see, I've hovered my mouse over the footer credits, which selects the content that we can then edit within the plugin. And if you click your mouse on that selected area of content, it completely removes all of the text. Now, you can obviously save these changes if you want to remove everything at once, but I wanna add the copyright text that I copied earlier in the video. So within the text box on the right-hand side of the screen, I'll paste the copyright text. And I'm on a Mac, so I'm pressing Command P on my keyboard to paste it. And check that out. The theme and WordPress footer credits have been removed and we've replaced it with the original copyright text that includes the hyperlink I might add. That's pretty cool. We didn't have to mess with any HTML. I just copied the text and link from my original footer and pasted it here in the plugin and it translated perfectly to the front end of our updated footer. Then for the sake of this example, you can also type in the text box and whatever you type will display in the footer credits like so. Again, giving you a lot of flexibility in terms of what your footer credits say. And I'm just adding some text here. You can add hyperlinks, change the font color, etc. All here within the plugin editor. 
Okay, so I just want my original copyright text to display, so I'll delete the text that I just added. And then once you've made your changes, go ahead and click the Save button. Then it looks like I have to verify that I want to save it, so I'll just click this OK button again. Then let's exit out of the plugin by clicking the X in the upper right corner of the screen. And this will take you back to the WordPress dashboard. So let's visit the front end of our site to take a look at the changes to the footer to see how it looks live on the homepage. And when we scroll down, you'll see that the plugin has done its job and my copyright text is now the only text displaying in the footer. The theme and WordPress credits have been removed. All right, moving on. Next, let's go over how to completely remove the footer credits with some CSS. And before we go through these steps, please keep in mind that some of the code we're about to use could vary depending on the theme you're using. I'll be sure to point that out when we reach that part of the tutorial. Also, this method of using the CSS will completely remove the footer credits so that nothing displays at all. This code doesn't allow you to edit the text, just FYI. Okay, so let's go over how to remove the footer credits with some CSS. So first things first, we'll need to access the CSS. And one way to do that is to inspect the element. This little trick lets you examine the source code of any web page and gives you some insight as to how the page is built. Now I'm using Chrome, and to inspect the element, you'd simply right click on your mouse on the page, and this will display a pop-up menu. And then from that menu, select Inspect. Then this will open a new window within your browser where you'll see the source code as well as a lot of the other aspects of this particular web page. Then if you click this little mouse arrow icon towards the left, this will open the selector where you can then hover your mouse over different sections of the page and it will select it and single out the code for that element of content. For example, if we click on the footer, you'll see that it gives us some important information like the div element and then the CSS class, which is copyright. That's what we want. For this example, my footer is contained within the CSS copyright class, but yours may be site info or something completely different. Whatever this says, take note because that is what we'll be using to make our changes in the additional CSS widget. Okay, so now that we know the CSS class for the footer credits, which in this case is copyright, it's time to add the CSS to the site. So let's close out the inspector tool. Then next, open the customization menu by clicking Customize at the top of the screen. Then open the Additional CSS tab. This is where we can quickly add CSS snippets of code whenever we want to make a change that requires some additional coding. This is an amazing new feature that WordPress added a few updates ago, and it really comes in handy whenever you're redesigning things like we are with the footer credits. And as you can see, I've already added some CSS here, but all you'll do is place your cursor in the text box and add the CSS snippet of code. So for this example, my CSS class was copyright. So I'll start with period copyright, followed by a space, and then a curly bracket. And when you add one bracket, it adds two of them by default, but we'll use both of them. And be sure to keep your cursor in between those brackets, and then click enter on your keyboard to go to the next line. Next, we'll add our property within the declaration block, which is display, followed by a colon, and then the value, none, followed by a semicolon. And that's it. If you look at the bottom of the screen now, you'll see that the footer credits have been removed because the CSS is telling it to display none. Then if you want it back, just remove the CSS, and the footer credits reappear. CSS gives you a ton of creative control over your site and design, and this additional CSS widget is a really helpful tool when it comes to making quick changes like this. Okay, so once you're done, don't forget to publish your changes by clicking the Publish button at the top of the screen. Then let's exit out of the customization menu and take a look at our footer. And this time when we scroll down, you'll see that the CSS is working and the display none declaration has removed the footer credits completely. So those are a couple ways to edit and remove your WordPress footer credits on any theme. If you have any questions or need some extra help with these steps, feel free to reach out in the comments and I'd be more than happy to help you out. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're thinking about starting a blog, you gotta check out my step-by-step -step tutorials. They'll show you everything you need to know in order to build, grow, and monetize a professional WordPress blog. 
And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family. And for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.